beat scientist Tom, who's arriving at his laboratory in Umeå, Sweden. As pranks go, this one really blew me away. Yes, this pneumatic prank was a massive hit on the internet, scoring two million views. But what propels Tom across the room? You have here a high pressure pneumatic cannon. How does this work? You have a cylinder, and into the cylinder, you push and push a lot of air. Now you pull the trigger, and you release this very compressed gas out of the cylinder. And what happens is that it tries to equilibrate with the atmosphere on the outside, and it expands so fast that you create a pressure wave. And this pressure wave has an enormous force. But it's going to have the greatest effects on areas of our body that are filled with gas. As the pressure wave hits, the gas in these spaces, our eardrums, our stomach, our lungs, gets really compressed. And then once the wave passes, the gas expands again. And if it does this quickly enough, with enough force, we could do some serious damage, some tearing of membranes, exploding of our eardrums. And the potential for damage here is quite high. So, factor fiction. If he had actually been hit by a cannon that caused him to fly back into the lockers like he did, he would have been bruised, possibly deaf, possibly had internal organ damage, and may even have life-threatening injuries. If this was for real, Tom wouldn't stand up and smile. He would be seriously injured. Yes, this one is just clever editing. Back to work, gents.